Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. And salutations to all you alchemy out there pushing his word in sincerity and truth. Coming back at you with another lesson on these uh, scoffers. Uh, just recently, maybe a couple of days ago, we had a couple of niggas basically who got kicked out of GMS maybe four, five years ago, maybe longer than that. They're coming back doing videos on, uh, you know, the whole rape controversy that the elders bring out in the scriptures, which is it, which is in the scriptures in the Old Testament. But basically these niggas is coming back talking junk, scoffing like, if you're not edifying our people, if you're not talking about the destruction of this wicked empire, America, what are you doing, man? You, you just being a scoffer, man. You just out there being a scoffer, man. It's no edification in that scoffing, man. You just being a damn demon, man. So I want to bring out a, a couple of um, historical things that happened in the past of, of scoffers and then just bring out a couple of scripture, scriptures. Rather, I'm going to make this real quick. Um, this is uh, Matthew 27, and I'm going to start at 24. This is Matthew 27 and 24. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. Okay, so Pilate, this ruler in the Roman Empire, washed his hands and said, look, this man y'all about to kill, which is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, I'm innocent of his blood. But our people, our forefathers, these niggas in the audience, Wanted to have Yahweh Shai killed, man. Okay, this is verse 25. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. And that's why the hell we're going through all this hell we're going through as a people today. Because of things like this. And things before this, not obeying the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And just like this incident, what they did to Yahweh Shai, man. That his blood be on our hands. So you niggas was in agreement with having Yahweh Shai crucified. And you scoffed, man. You scoffed at Yahweh Shai. So you had scoffers all the way back then, man. This is verse 26. Then released he Barab Barabbas unto them. And when he had scourged Yahweh Shai, he delivered them to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Yahweh Shai into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. And they stripped him and put him in a scarlet robe. And when they had planted a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head. And they read in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. So he was being mocked by these Roman centurions, man. Laughed at, scoffed at, man. Made fun of, okay? And they spit upon him and took the reed and smote him on the head. And after that, he had, and after they had mocked him, they took him, so like they took the robe off from him, and put his own raiment on him, and led him away to crucify him. So they were mocking Yahweh Shai way back then, man. These Roman centurions, and these niggas in the audience was doing the same thing too, because it's an account when Yahweh Shai was on the cross. He said he saved others. Why don't he save himself? They were scoffing at him, man. So you scoffers been around for a long time, man. Okay, and you're going to be dealt with, man, because you niggas ain't got nothing else better to do. But to come on the comment board and say stupid stuff and make stupid comments, what are you doing edifying the people, man? Well, where's your edification of the other people at, man? So you niggas are, are demons, man. That's actually a spirit that 